Come on. Howdy, everybody. Howdy, everybody. We are back. Um, Team Raider 1, level 12. We're still continuing this level. And you want to see? We're doing quite well. Yeah, you'd have thought after collecting two bloody angst, the level will come to an end, but obviously not. Nope, it's still going. We've still got more to do. Yeah, this is a big level. This is big. Okay, so... Very we're... definition of big. Now what else have we got to do, just to weary? You'll see. It's the idea of the adventure. We're supposed to see what happens. I've got a question. How is it that with all that sand underwater, the water isn't filthy and that Lara can't, you know, see where she's going? Nice. Because realistically, that should be the case, shouldn't it? Yeah. Be nice. Maybe that's just me. One of life's mysteries. I don't, I don't know anything, so just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take what I have to say as gospel. Eh. None taken. <laughs> Yeah, I got. I actually would like to get a PlayStation Vita though, just to play PlayStation One games on it. Right? Well, as we can already established. Yeah, that's games. the control issues. Control. There are plenty of control issues. Depends what game I play though. Yeah. I mean, Tekken Two is actually quite good on the PSP Vita. No problems there. It's only Tekken One and Two though. They haven't released Tekken Three yet. Why not? <laughs> the game that perfected Tekken. Why? It's just ridiculous. Well, there's a shit ton of games that aren't being released on the EU, you know, the uh, UK, the yeah. Sand Store. But there's tons on the American one. There's tons on the Japanese one. That's why. Anyone I'm... think they're being a bit unfair? <laughs> that's why. I w that's why I want to go with the American one. You know? Yeah. Well, that's good. Magnums. Pow pow pow! Ooh, ooh. It's fell into the fucking wall. Right. The ending's kind of lackluster, though, I think. Lackluster, yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Um. Remember you seeing it, though. It's just, yeah, it's just a bunch of credits. Like, one screen for credits. Isn't this the something. bit where you can't go on that, no matter how hard you try? Yep, I showed you this before, watch. Yeah. No matter how hard you try, you cannot get on this thing. Yeah, but then... You would have thought that you could. Yeah, watch this. Even if I jump to it, it'll stem me back. Okay. I'm sorry, but... That looks like you can climb on it, and... You can walk on it. Yeah, it looks like it can be walked on, like a platform, and you just can't yeah, exactly. get on it, no matter how hard you try. Let's see if anyone else has actually managed to get on there, but... <laughs> I'm not sure about the PC... No to me, I was going to say, I'm not sure about the PC version and the Sega Saturn version, if you can actually climb on that. Okay. I'm not sure about that. I, d I definitely know for sure the PlayStation 1 version does it. Mm-hmm. We buffet. And it sends me back to the top. Fuck us. <laughs> <laughs> so now, um. Yeah, the game feels a bit slow, I think. Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. I don't think it's that. Mm. Um, I think a lot of that is probably down to the fact that the levels are really long. They're not. Mm, yeah. Like they haven't been cut up. I mean, this one could have easily been cut into two levels, I think. Like, yeah. one level seeing you go up to the end, one level with you in this water area. I'm back to the way I was before. Great. Why are you in your inventory for? <laughs> I was thinking at the time. Does the compass ever serve any purpose at all? It just points to a certain direction. I think it tells you where you're supposed to go. I don't know. But nah, it doesn't really serve that much of a purpose. You've never found much use for it. No, I never used it. And I do know in the second and third game is quite different, though. It's not well, It's not a compass in those two. Okay. Yeah. What is it there? It's a stopwatch. You look at the stopwatch, it tells you your statics of the level. It tells you how long you've been in the level. Oh, your statistics, yeah. yeah. how many enemies you've killed, that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. That kind of thing, really. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Wee. Yeah. But 
is really high up. I mean, I'm sorry, but that is really extremely high. Extremely high. Very off putting. Whoa. Whoa. Thank God I did. I was going to say, thank God I had a bit of health there. Bloody hell. You could have died! I know! It was there for the easy clips, that's what I went down there for. So it was planned? Yeah, I went down there just to get the easy clips. So now what? You'll find out. You can't remember, can you? <laughs> I think I can. Yep, I was right. Going back up again? Yep, now I remember, yeah. Oh, you're going into the Sphinx thing. You'll find out. So we go all the way up here. So you just keep going up. That's the idea of this part here. The only way is up. <laughs> yep. Baby. <laughs> I do apologize. I really, really do apologize. I suck. I don't. Ah, you don't. You shouldn't put yourself down. Oh, I always do it. It's just part of me. This is a long corridor. This goes on for a while. Yep. Sure does. Bloody. Oh, what was that there? That's, oh. a, that's a weird place for items on an incline in the middle of a big ass long corridor. I know. Okay. It will still keep going up. There you go. Okay. And guess where we are now? Inside the Sphinx. <laughs> You'll find out. <laughs> What's... What's that? You'll find out. It's like a cube. That's where we started. No, oh, you're joking me. Right at the very beginning of the level. Yep. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> yep. So, where does it end? <laughs> You'll find out it's the end of this video. I know that, but seriously! There's a gate on the left as soon as you go up those stairs. Why don't you just use a shotgun? I've got to save the shotgun ammo. Oh, okay, there's not a lot of ammo for it. Fair enough. That was so close to touching her foot there. <laughs> that explosion was so close to my foot. Yeah. Okay, so we're at the beginning of the level. Yep. But you see that? Yeah. Now you can go down there. Okay. Now this is where you get to fight Larson. And you don't even have to fight Larson. All you can do is just run after the ski on, grab it, and you don't have to fight him. Okay, so Larson will appear down here. Yep. But guess what's so funny though? In the, he's not in the cutscene. Either way. So it doesn't matter if you kill him or not. In anniversary, I'm pretty sure you have to kill him. That, that kind of... Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is he saying? I have no idea. Got pain in my brain from you. Makes no sense. See, <laughs> you grab this and it finishes the level. Okay, so we've got the ski on. It don't really matter if you kill him or not. If you even attack Larson or not. That's... Yep. Well, at least it, you don't have to faff around fighting him. You can just go straight yeah. to the end of the level. I'm pretty sure that anniversary you have to fight him. Though. Sunlight. So bright. It burns. And it's two men with bike helmets. <laughs> Gay <laughs> bikers. <laughs> <laughs> he comes out of nowhere. Okay, how did he get behind you? I didn't know. That's last I'm guessing. Yep. So how does it make sense if you kill him? If he just turns, just turns up there and... Yeah, exactly. So she must have just grabbed him and run out of there. How's that a lunchbox? Well, where's where's Natalie dressed like that woman with that beard? Is gonna ask. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. You morons! You idiots! That was such a good acting <laughs> there. You morons! You idiots! <laughs> she got away. Now 
how she could potentially ruin all my plans. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I am surprised like... Lara's able to catch up as quickly as she did. Yeah. Even if, you know, she does use the motorcycle and all that crap. You've got to bear in mind that she was in the water. She would have had to have swum out the water, climbed all the way back up to get to the motorbike. I'm surprised that she managed to catch up as quickly as she did. Mm -hmm. nice. Nice. Well, to, be fair, to be fair, though, they had to load the boat up, so... Mm -hmm. Okay. I can probably believe it now. Yeah. This is where she makes a leap of faith. Lara's all about making leaps of faith. Yeah, we won't be able to get the job right until Legend. Yeah, you can watch it live. She's too late! <laughs> Go for it. You know what this is? You know what I call this? What? A tragic waste of a motorbike. I know, tell me about it. Such a precious motorbike. Don't even think that they would question it. Yeah. And she hides in this, like, you'll, you'll see in a sec. She hides in there. And she's been in there throughout the entire night. And, yeah. Well, I'm sorry, how the hell... Would they not check that place? Would they not think to look in there? Mm-hmm. See? She's been in there all night. You think, okay, we're gonna look in there and see what if just make sure everything's okay. Oh, the last three levels. Fucking woman got inside. So here we are at Atlantis. The final section of the game. And I love that loading screen pose. I don't know why. It's just, it just screams. I don't know. It just, it's just cool. So there you go. It's... Okay, so, guys. now we're in... Natless Mines, my least favourite level. <laughs> you hate this level. I do not like this level. So we start out underwater. Obviously we've got to... Got to... Um, save the world? <laughs> yep. And this is... Obviously you've got no weapons in the, at the beginning of the level, so you've got to try and get your pistols back for the first, like, 20 minutes or so. Okay. This is massive short that you can take as well. Okay, so do you take it? What well, dude, the barrel wasn't in the way. Whoa! <laughs> right, pull yourself up here. And you can just oh, jump over there. And usually it would take about 10 minutes just to activate the um, boat so you can jump across the platform. Okay. So it's a big shortcut tip there. Natla, Natla, Natla. <laughs> Who made those someone, boxes? Someone clearly loves herself. Yeah, someone... Who made those boxes anyway? The company, I imagine. So, I don't get it. She leaves you with, um, ammo, but she takes the guns off of you. Makes sense. No, not really, because... No, sarc if, that was sarcasm, Chris. Yeah, what if she got her hands on another fucking gun? <laughs> exactly. You know, it's not, uh, it's not impossible mode. for a woman like Lara to find another gun that would probably match up to the ones that she's got snatched off of her. Mm -hmm. So even with the shortcut, it still takes a while to get your guns back. Yeah. Because throughout this level is going to be backtracking, backtracking, pulling blocks, pulling levers, <laughs> finding the fuses. It's, it's, it's a very, very long level. Very long. Okay. Very fucking long. Just to get your pistols. Why are there all these blocks that have to move around? And why is it so slow? <laughs> yeah, it's like I said, I would have, I've mentioned it before, I would have preferred it if you could push and pull the blocks and not have to like do it like one block square at a time. That's what Soul Reaver improved on. Because in Soul Reaver you can move it left and right and you can flip it over and it's much quicker. Yeah, like, and just you can push just and pull it to wherever you need it, and then just that's it. And also, if you just tap the square button, you'll it'll, it'll just push it, so you won't have to, like, you know, keep doing that all the time, like Lara does. Then again, maybe Lara's not strong enough. <laughs> yes. She needs to work herself out. Get some more, you know, just work out more. <laughs> mm. So, yeah. This level requires a lot of backtracking, and, yeah. 
It looks kind of similar yeah. to the caves of the ruin levels, don't it? It does have a lot of similarities, but... Mm. You know, it's lacking snow. <laughs> yeah, definitely lacking needs snow. More, needs more snow. <laughs> to brighten things up. No, it's just... That's what I mean, to make it look better. No, it, if it was to look anything like where it would need snow. Mm -hmm. So obviously, lack of snow obviously highlights the fact that this is a completely different location. Mm -hmm. How did Anniversary handle this level? Well, we'll get to that when we get to that. Oh, so when we eventually do cover Anniversary in the future... You'll we'll find do. out. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming it's interesting by the look on your face. Yeah. I do apologise for any lag that seems to be occurring. That's not me! <laughs> all, all I can say is, though, it's easier. That's all I can say on that regard. He's fucking done it again! I should have to carry on, because I've already recorded 12 minutes. We'll just continue from there. I'm not going to go through back all the way back there again. No, fair enough, I'm just going to back it up about 30, minutes, 30 seconds or so. Go. Okay, so uh Smash her face against the wall there. <laughs> so I realise I've got to activate a switch before I open that gate. But like I said, in the anniversary remake, all I can say is right? Yeah, because I, I yeah. Because let's just say that it's easier. There you go. Okay, because yeah, I was I was kind of gonna ask about that anyway, mm -hmm. what it was like. Yeah. That's all you need to know. It's easier. So, what, you intended on covering Anniversary in the future? Will do. Also, Legend, Underworlds, the new Tomb Raider. I'm planning to do all the Tomb Raiders. Yes, even Angel of Darkness. Oh, God. Dun, dun, dun! Well, to be fair, I've got Sonic 06 for this channel, and I also... Do some other bad games, maybe. Mm -hmm. Let's see how things pan out. Yeah. But I need to get my other laptop repaired first. <laughs> So I'm when, starting to yeah. sound like a Dalek. <laughs> Fair enough. So when did you get the last PS1 games? Huh? When did you get those PS1 games on the Vita? When did you buy them? Recently. Hmm. Fair enough. <laughs> um. Yeah. A lot of the um, a lot of the Vita games I've had on that fridge, but there were a few that got recently. Hmm. I, I'm still peed off about the you know, severe lack of games that are on the UK PSN store. Mm -hmm. So, what ones are we missing? Well, quite a few. Um, I know we're missing a few RPGs. Um, I can't really remember off the top of my head, but I know that we're missing quite a lot of lists for the American games. Um, Japanese games, even. Really mm. Whereas ours is much significantly shorter. And I just, I'm sorry, but that's not fair. Put Chrono Trigger on there. Yeah, well, I, think that, I think that's one game that America does have that we don't have. Yeah, Chrono Trigger is amazing. Chrono but, then Trigger. Again, but then again, to be fair, you can get Chrono Trigger on the DS. You can download it onto your Wii. Yeah, but Chrono Trigger is like my favourite RPG of all time. Be called out on PSN. Yeah, Chrono Cross. Chrono Cross is on. I never tried Chrono. Well. I never tried but Chrono that's, Cross, but that's but only never, yeah. American, uh, UK. Don't have it. I was gonna bullshit. Yeah, I was actually I was actually gonna say I never actually played Chrono Cross. I only played Chrono Trigger, so I don't really know what Chrono Cross was like because that game was only released in America. It never came out in the UK. Yeah, because of course we're unfortunate. With me, I mean, there's there's games that come out in other countries that you just wish would come out over here. And in my case, Digimon World Two. It may not have been great, but it would have completed my Digimon World collection. <laughs> <laughs> It's the only Digimon World game off the top of my head that I actually do not own. Far oh. <laughs> from Digitize for the PSP, mm -hmm. which, you know, maybe I'll get in the future. Because mm. I know PSP games can make it for these games. I have Digimon Adventure PSP. But anyway, back to Tomb Raider. <laughs> yeah, going off topic now, aren't we? <laughs> yes. Naughty. Naughty. <laughs> Naughty us. Shame on us. Okay. We've committed blasphemy. Okay. okay. Right. So... How much longer until we find the pistols? <laughs> Probably at the end of this video. You're joking! Yep. At the end of this video we find the fucking pistols? Mm -hmm. Yep, that's right. You're not just guessing, are you? 
<laughs> I was figuring out. Yeah, I was kind of lost a bit here, actually. Okay, to be fair. I was scratching my brain, like thinking. What switch do I pull? What switch do I pull? Where do I go back here? I thought you played this before. Yes. <laughs> True, but there are times where you can get confused, even if you played it. That's fair enough. Yeah. You work that body, Lara. It's not as bad as London, though. That's just enjoyable. What, from Tomb Raider 3? Yes. That's the only section in that game I don't like. People complain about India. Nah, scratch that. London is the nightmare. London is what causes you to blow your brains out. It's just insane. Especially that train level. I mean, seriously. Mm, yeah, you still haven't finished it. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to get back to it. I did most of it, though, so that counts. Fair enough. Can't I just use the skip code? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is a playthrough, damn it. <laughs> the level skip code. Yeah. In this game you can actually use um, cheat codes to get all your weapons, uh, level selects. Well actually, level uh, skip, because you can Ooh. skip the levels with the codes. Okay. You can do that in the first game. In the second game and third game you can do that also. But what's funny about T is that there's another cheat code that you can actually blow Lara Croft up. Whoa! Yep. I was actually on about that platform. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Why would you want to blow Lara up? Just for amusement. Okay. That's a bit like getting the tank in GTA. You, it's uh, it don't serve a purpose. It's just for fun. <laughs> Blow everybody up. Nobody can stop you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so now we've got the boat moving, which I don't need to do anyway. I'll figure this out though. So I do figure it out eventually. Figured as much. Yeah, so obviously my favourite level in the game is still San Francisco Folly. Yeah, from um, this one. From um, Greece days. Yeah. That's what I meant. Greece. I'd say the entire game. You think that's your favourite level? You say that's your favourite, okay. In the entire game. Oh, fair enough. Oh, I thought for sure that was a, like a bottomless pit or like a spike pit or something. Oh! oh. It's not coming this way, is it? I was going to say, how can Laura hit herself? I'm not even hitting the. Oh. Anything, and she has a head against nothing. Visible platforms. <laughs> <laughs> nothing is unbelievable anymore. Uh huh. You can't get in there, can you? I actually performed a glitch where I managed to get in there. Are you kidding? Yeah. So you got to keep on doing this over and over again until you can actually get in there. Okay. Yeah. That's how it goes. So what you got to do is that you got to follow this corridor. You climb down the bottom and you go through that door again. And once you go through that door again. Then you gotta dodge the boulders. Okay. Yep. That makes no sense. And yes, because, yeah, the boulders actually respawn. Oh, what? I'm not gonna make it. Oh, yes, I will. See? Whoa! That was very close. What is that? A fuse. Because okay. you gotta collect all three fuses to activate this uh, house. It drops down, and then that's where you get your pistols back. So uh, I've only got one of the fuses so far. A house drops down. You'll see. Out of the air. It's like a little building, and inside is where the pistols are. Okay. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but I'll just take your word for it. <laughs> mm -hmm. The everywhere. Yeah. What? So, do the sin. Why are we in Atlantis? Why does she go, come to Atlantis? That would be the best way of writing it. Because she's trying to use the skills of Atlantis so that she can actually resurrect her own creation. Okay. You'll find out towards the end of the game. Ooh. In the cutscenes later on. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. What is this? Boulders everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can kind of see what you mean with this level. It is kind of boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like, what, what? I have uh, nightmares. I have nightmares of this level. I hated it so much as a kid. Uh, Especially when you first play this level. I mean, how would that be? 
playing this level for the first time. Okay, what the fuck do I do? That would be what Ooh. I was be like playing this level for the first time. Mm-hmm. So... That's pretty much with all the two Mega's, really. Yeah. Well, the older ones. Especially me, that would be what I'd be like playing the old Tomb Raiders, because I haven't got a friggin' clue what to do half the time, I'm just... I'm dumb, okay? <laughs> I like straightforward linearity when it suits me. <sighs> well, I do forgive me, guys, this level is dull. Mm -hmm. Don't blame you, it's my least favourite level in the game in general. Yeah, you By do. far the worst level. You said that. Is, is that the, is, would you say this is the worst level of all the Tomb Raider games? You know, the old Tomb Raider games, I should, I should clarify. Um, well, let me think about that. <laughs> no, the, the worst level in the game by far, out of all the games, would definitely have to be Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness, the whole of fucking seasons. I hate that level. That level is pure evil. That, especially with those fucking controls and those fucking platforms that you have to fucking jump across that fucking move with those fucking controls. Fucking. Oh, I don't even want to fucking. I'll get to that when we get to that. You sure? Yes. <laughs> I need to rip on that fucking level. I despise that fucking level. That is the worst Tomb Raider level ever made. Well, fingers crossed. Hopefully by the time we record the next Tomb Raider game, my laptop will be working again! And we'll be able to just get straight into it on the laptop without having to record it to DVD, load it into the computer, and then do com pre post commentary. We can do commentary as the game flows, mm -hmm. if I can get this laptop fixed, which is going to be damn sight better if you ask me. Mm -hmm. You can actually get your reactions as you're doing it! <laughs> Yes, jumping across those fucking platforms, that fucking move with these fucking infuriating controls. Oh god. Anyone want to do a fuck reel? And, <laughs> and, there's more, and there's more fucking trolls to it. There's other trials where you gotta try and run and jump across platforms that collapse on you, and with those fucking controls, it'll be a nightmare to get across. You'll be saving constantly in that fucking level. Okay, I'm serious. Does anyone want to do a fuck reel of this? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just... I, I, I apologise. It's just that bad... That, it is that bad of a level. It, it is so bad. It's kind of like Sonic Genesis. Mm -hmm. All of it. <laughs> yeah, this level's kind of tedious. Yeah, I'm kind of getting bored. Mm -hmm. Okay, so would you say this is worse than London from Tomb Raider 3? Uh, in some ways, yes, in some ways, no. The reason I say that is because, in some ways, uh, yes, it's much fucking harder to figure out where to go and what to do, but at the same time, it's a no because you're not fucking spending 20 minutes looking for your pistols. I was being serious about that fuck real offer, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, my favourite level in, I've always loved uh, in Tomb Raider 3 South Pacific I liked all the levels. South Pacific had the best levels. Crash Site where you get to control that fucking big uh, gun tone to blow up those dinosaurs. The first level was actually quite fun and the third level had that Manifold Gorge. And the fourth level was actually quite a nice way to wrap it up. So South Pacific had the best levels in Tomb Raider 3. Fair enough. India, I don't mind. Uh, Nevada's actually not too bad. London, I don't like at all. Yeah, and like you've established many times. <laughs> yeah, and South Pole's actually quite good. South Pole's got some really fun levels in that one. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. Why well, couldn't it have been the North Pole? Then Lara could have met Santa. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, the only levels I don't like are the ones in London. They're the ones that are more complicated to figure out where you're supposed to go and what yeah. to accomplish. Yeah, I can kind of understand that. Yeah. Last Revelation, the first half was really easy, but yet the second half was so bloody difficult. Yeah. So the balance was kind of off a bit. In terms of difficulty. Mm. And I can't do the level select option, so I can't choose to play, you know, the freaking ball puzzle. Well, not ball puzzle. Ball ah. puzzle? No, the chess when did, game. When did the last Revelation become bloody Psycho 6? I meant to say when the chess... I, 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 <laughs> I meant to say the chess game. Because there's like this little chess game that's actually quite cool to play. Lara went to Dusty Desert. 
<laughs> she must have done. <laughs> well, technically, doesn't the whole game take place in Egypt? <laughs> yeah. And it's got a kind of desert thing going on there. <laughs> so, she, you know, it's not unplausible mm -hmm. for Lara to have gone to the dusty desert. <laughs> yep. That's Yay! Two That's two fuses now? That's three. Oh, three, okay. That's three. I wasn't paying attention, so... Are you really that bored with this level? Yes. Yes, it's three. Yep, okay, three. Now we can go back and get our pistols back. Yay! Finally! Or just do what I do. Insert the weapon cheat codes and just continue. <laughs> You'll get all your weapons back. It's a playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> cheating. <laughs> That's what my friends used to do. They used to just skip unless, all unless it's like Unless it's sort of like something like Pokemon, I suppose, where you know, you're towards the end of the game. You know, you just want to boost your levels just that little teeny bit mm -hmm. before you take on the like the elite force. Mm -hmm. I don't normally condone cheating, and I don't normally do it, but still, I, I can kind of understand why you do that mm -hmm. in a commentary. Yeah, I, I kind of watched uh, one like, particular commentary where you know there was a bit of cheating towards it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, well, Underworld's not very good though. Yeah, you, you said you weren't a big fan of Underworld. Underworld's shite. <laughs> That's actually the second worst Tomb Raider next to Angel of Darkness. You didn't like it? Nah, it's horrible. It's glitchy, it's rushed, it's got weight. It's only got like, what, seven levels? And most of which were just rushed. It, the story sucked. The Everything just sucked. <laughs> it's just not a very good game. What's that there? Uh, it's Ma Madden Clips. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, I see what you mean, it's a house! <laughs> yep. But it's not a house, it's like a... a building. Concrete building sort of thing. Who built that anyway? <laughs> I don't... I can't take this seriously, I'm sorry. I know. It looks ridiculous coming down. Donk. And what it does is that actually opens the door, and then you can go in there and pick up your pistols. Fair enough. And that's all you get. Yeah, pistols. You get the shitty pistols. Where's the good guns? The enemies that you go up against later on in the level. Because later on in the level you gotta go up against them. You shoot the crap How out of them. How long is this fucking level? <laughs> yep, it goes on for quite a while. It does. But it's Yay! actually... But it's actually... Okay. <laughs> but it's easier to figure out where you're supposed to go. Because do you know what you gotta do from there? Proceed forward. <laughs> We missed you! <laughs> yeah, plus, how did Lara's pistols get in there in the first place? Who put them there? Why did they put them there? Who built that house? Evidently, someone did not want Lara getting her hands on her pistols. Mm -hmm. It must be the slender man who did that. What makes you say that? <laughs> I don't know. It just came out of my head. Okay, so the level is actually not difficult for me because all you got to do is just proceed forward. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Proceed so forward. The level's not going to be as tedious. No, so the level gets better now. That's fair enough. I mean, it's not like London that doesn't really get any better. Mm-hmm. Unless you take that massive shortcut. <laughs> the first level. No, I meant the, like the train. Yeah, the, the old subway. bridge. Old bridge. That's what it's called. Old bridge. The subway station. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hey, no. There isn't a lower order you've come across one of them. Last one, right? I think so. It might be someone else. It sounds like him. Yeah, but he's not wearing the same clothes. Does hey, he? Ain't nothing personal. <laughs> and he doesn't even have the same face. Wow, he's, he's kicking your bum. Yeah. Or a rat. So, what does this guy give back to you? You get your madness back. Yay! Is he using them? Because you're fucking nervous. Yeah, he is. He is using them. What a fucking cheek! So you get your guns back as soon as you kill him. Don't you dare use my guns! I've got to say, it takes fucking forever to kill him. Is he a Terminator? I'm right. sorry, I know that's really overused at this point, me saying Yeah, but that. still. But still, I'm, I can't emphasise any more. How is it that a human being can take so many bullets, even with a goddamn pistol? Yeah. Yay, Magnums. Human beings should not be able to take that many bullets. Yep. One fucking bullet to the fucking head and it should kill them. Even just like a bullet to the chest would hurt hurt them really bad. Mm-hmm. I don't get it. Neither do I. Do 
You're kidding me, right? Mm -hmm. Lava? Yeah. There's lava in this friggin' level? Yes. That's right. <sighs> this is Master Shortcut. Now, I'm going to show you because you got to take the route all the way across there, all the way down those slopes. But there is this massive shortcut that you can take. I did die a couple of times, but I did manage to succeed. Yeah, I remember you dying a few times because you fell in the lava and burned to death. Yeah, but I was trying to perform the shortcut you are about to see. But for now, you'll have a good laugh at me dying. Whoa! Because sometimes you can actually grab that ledge, go right, pull yourself up, go down that slope, and you'll pretty much skip 10 minutes of climbing all the way down there. So it's, uh, again, a massive shortcut. See you in the next part. See you in the next part.